Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm excited because it's finally here. My buddies are coming tomorrow to have a great scrappy weekend. So we um, had talked about making little gifts for each other. We always do. So um, before you are the tags that I made because we decided that this time instead of making cards we would do tags. So I have made a tag. And um, they are going to um, Tamika, who scrapped the world, Cheryl, who's Jim Zyle, and then also for part of the weekend, we also have another of our friends coming, Catrice, who scrapped elegance. Woohoo! We didn't think she was going to be able to come, but she's going to be able to come for part of it. So um, I made one for her also, although she doesn't know she's getting anything, but she'll be surprised. But I love the way these things turned out. And I'm going to have to make me one for myself. But they are pocket tags. And here we go close up. And I have clustered them with flowers that I have sprayed with an iridescent silver spray. And one of the spiral stamens there in white from wild orchid crafts and the flowers are from different places um craft supplies for you um wild orchid crafts and um some resin flowers that i have from my stash in ebay those cute little glasses <laughs> i got those off of ebay i love those i got them in a couple colors and then there's a little bow for my stash. And I put little bows in each corner to kind of accent. I use three different colors. Pink, white, and black. And then I use polka dot paper there. I use a hexagon punch and a little stamp that says, Hey girl! That I got out of um, the $1.50 G Studio bin at Michael's. And so... Um, Again, it's a pocket. I added another flower up there and a larger resin bow. The back, just put my information. And I put a flower on the top of the um, hole instead of putting a ribbon in there. I just like that better. So, um, there's that. And like I said, it is a pocket. And it has a tag that comes out. And what I have done... I put a pink post-it note here, so I will write on the pink post-it note just in case they would like to use this to gift it to someone else. And then a tag is um, playing in the back, but it's layered with the pink, pink, black, and white. And like I said, I just really, really love the way they turned out, and I will have to make myself one because I definitely... <laughs> definitely level so that's the tag for them and then the other thing that um we talked about um sorry for the shaking and the moving um the other thing we had talked about was um altering something and i saw something um not too long ago and i threw it out there and i didn't think they were gonna go for it so Take a look. It's, and I'll move these out of the way, an altered pill bottle. And this pill bottle happens to be square, which I thought was pretty cool. My husband had these, and they were already white, so it went with my color scheme of pink, black, and white. So I was like, yes, don't have to paint it. So, this is the altered bottle, and I wrapped it in pink and black and white polka dot paper, put a little flower cluster on there with a pink stamen this time, a little bow and resin flowers under there, used some of my black word beads, this one says star, I added the little pearl feet. 
And I probably should have put a square of pattern paper in there, but I didn't think about it until after. But if I had to do it again, that's what I would do. Just for a little extra. On the top is a large resin um, flower. And I believe I got that from M's Emporium. She doesn't still have a shop, but that's where I got it from when she had it. And then these flowers here, there's two layered flowers, the polka dot one, and then you can see that white um, pattern one. Those were from the Michaels Dollar Fifty bin a um, couple years back. And I, I thought this will work. It's a little top heavy right now, but um, it will be filled up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let the ladies fill it themselves from um, my pot, my um, bucket of resin pieces and doodads. So that's the first one, and here's the second one. Same thing except for the word bead says VIP. And then because I didn't think Catrice was coming, I um, had to come up with a third one. Well, and I had to. I wanted to come up with her one to give to her. So I didn't have another one of the square ones. So I did a round pill bottle, bottle for her. It's a little smaller, and I'm pretty sure she will be okay with that and understand. Um, but same flower concept and cluster. The word cool feet still on the bottom and then with this one because it was um, the brown color I covered it up here with some um, pink ribbon that has the stars in it and then this pink with the bling center trim and then it just has the um, big rose on top also so, those are the pill bottles, and have to make sure you get the tops on right, so that the backs, because when you move the tops around, the backs aren't always in the front, like when you planned it, as I'm seeing. Sorry, <laughs> not paying attention. And then, for the presentation... Um, I have little bags here that I just covered in paper and those big flowers are flowers from Michaels from about three years ago that they sold in the jars and I bought and wondered what the heck would I ever do with them. Well, I decorated bags for them so I decorated one for each one and then it'll be filled with black tissue paper and some of this um, shred. And then the other thing that I have for them, I have these black and white bags, and um, they are called, they are bags that say, I love swag. And then inside of the bags will be goodies for the ladies. Um, I have added some embossing folders, a set of dies, some journals to alter, notebooks, some sticky pads, that kind of thing. So um, those will also be given to them and I may try and take a picture of it or take a second video just to add, show you what um, those look like. Or you can actually check out their videos when they show them because I'm sure they will so anyway thank you so much for watching and um, stay tuned I'm not sure when this video is going to be up by the time I put this video up we will probably have already started um, our um, videos from the scrapbook expo and challenges that we're going to do so, um, I'm not sure, but, um, you will see lots of videos from me and from them. Again, it's Scrap the World. It's 
Jim Zile, and Scrap Elegance. So thank you so much for watching. You have a great and blessed day. Hey everybody, I thought I would just come out here and take a little video of the swag bags. That's the bags. It's canvas bag and they're black and white. And then I also, like I said, have goodies inside. So each one will get one of those. And then I'm out here in my basement. This is where we are going to craft at. And we just set up some of our furniture that we weren't using and um you can see a lot of junk in the back but <laughs> just ignore that but this is like our area that we're going to be crafting and we have another table back here but i got some stuff on it so i don't want to show you um for their challenges just in case i put the video up before um we do the challenge but anyway just wanted to show you what the swag bags look like thank you so much for watching Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's me just one more time. Just wanted to show you a quick um, video of what the finished packaging looked like for um, the ladies. I ended up putting their initials on the bag so that I knew who got what because I wrote personal notes to each one of them on those um, tags. So anyway, I just love the way everything turned out. And as I said, keep watching. Check out all of our videos, Scrap the World, who is Tamika, Jim Zyle, who's Cheryl, and Scrap Elegance, who is Catrice, and me, So Good All. We're going to have a great weekend. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.